Ben, welcome. Thank you very much, Asim. How are we doing? Um, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're here to talk about Halo 5 Guardians. We are. Yes, indeed. Which is the, well, probably the biggest, uh, well, I think the biggest Xbox One exclusive this year. Yeah, I'd probably say, you know, it's, it's easily Microsoft's biggest game of the year. I'd probably say it's the biggest Xbox One exclusive. Yes. Just full stop. I agree. It, yeah. it's, it's their franchise. It's their baby. Um, and it's really good. It's really cool. good. So I've, because I've basically bought a copy, uh, I've only played campaign. I've, I've reviewed it based off campaign. I'll add all the online stuff when I played it and give it an overall score. But as far as campaign goes, it's really, really damn good. Um, I'm not sure how well versed you are in the Halo universe. Have you played the previous games? Um, I've played uh, a bit of, you know, sort of one through three. Um, okay. I, I didn't play four, but I, I, again, I know the basics of the, the story and how it wrapped up. So. Okay, so you basically know that Cortana dies and yeah. uh, and the Chief's basically crying about it in his helmet yeah. and that sort of stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, this basically picks up after after that a, a kind of an unspecified amount of time. Mm -hmm. And all the pre-release stuff has kind of made it seem like uh, the Chief's gone rogue mm -hmm. um, and uh, Fireteam Osiris, including Spartan Locke, who's the main character in that team, has been sent out to bring him back. Yep. But that notion's pretty much blown out of the water after an hour or so. Okay. Um, you know, the chief, it's the chief, right? Yeah. He's If he's, quotation marks, gone rogue, then there's a reason there's behind it. There's a reason behind and it, And yeah. there's a massive reason behind it, which I won't spoil because... Yeah, don't, don't, you don't want to incur the wrath of the <laughs> internet. Let's, let's not go too far. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I don't want to spoil that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much blown out of the water. Um, and even, e even better still, which again, my... Uh, split fan opinion is that there's 15 missions in the game um, and only three of them do you play as Master Chief. The rest of them you play as uh, Spartan Lock and his team. Hmm. Uh, which is an interesting dynamic because that brings into play kind of a... I compared it to Metal Gear Solid 2. Right. Where, yeah, where that, you, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, where you're initially thinking you're playing a Solid State. Not as dramatic as that because, you know, Nothing can be dramatic, is that? Um, no, I but, think the other, the other thing as well is you had the the Spartan Lock character talked exactly. about and, and introduced it in the marketing rather than, you know, just with this, uh, with Metal Gear Two where it was just like, oh yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, snakes in it, snakes in it. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The rug's yeah. pulled underneath your like your feet, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, that's not the same thing here. Uh, in, you know, it's not exactly the same thing. It's not dramatic, but it's still got that similar effect where. I think what Kojima wanted to do with Metal Gear 2 is to make you see Solid State in a different perspective, a different light, uh -huh. see, how, see how awesome he is. And that's kind of a similar thing here. Um, okay, cool. So that adds a new twist on the story and a new perspective to the gameplay. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, you, you see uh, Chi from the eyes of Spartan Locke, and it's, uh, it, you know, as a player, it just makes you appreciate uh, Master Chief a bit more. I think there's a lot of, you know, <laughs> jokes and stuff that made out the you know the, the the big big guy in the suit blah 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 uh you know but there is you know like it's, it's not shakespeare the story don't get me wrong uh or, you know <laughs> but you know it for, for what it is it's it's pretty good uh i mean like i said i do have some issues with the, the kind of main crux of the story it's kind of it, it, it will split fans and again i don't want to go into spoilers but yeah um people people will kind of give their thoughts when the game's out, I guess. Um, but apart from that, it's basically the whole story steeped in like loads of Halo lore. So if you're into the if you're into the series, if you read the books and whatnot, then you know, you'll you'll kind of get what's going on. And there's some really cool moments as well, uh, for fans of the series and, you know, Halo in general. Um that that, that kinda of happened in the story. But the main positives about Halo Five, the best part about it is the gameplay. Yes, yeah, so uh, I was gonna say the the gameplay sounds it sounds like typical Halo, but it also seems like they've they've mixed it up in the right ways. Oh yeah, definitely. I think I, w I was a fan of what three four three did with Halo Four. You could see the beginnings of you know them trying to freshen up the series, you know, bring their you know add their stamp to things. Uh -huh. and, Halo, and Halo Five kind of fully realizes that. I think um, yeah. they've <laughs> for 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 whatever reason, Bungie were really stubborn about not having uh, you you aim down the sights or zooming in with weapons, and it was like. Come on, guys! You know most 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 first-person shooters are kind of using that mechanic, and it's almost a norm. Mm -hmm. um, and they finally added that into into Halo Five. So with every weapon, you can zoom down the sights as well to to a 
different degree, obviously, depending on what weapon you've got. Yeah. Uh, but it makes sense, and it, ma it makes the battle, like some battles, which uh, it's kind of a Halo <laughs> um, usual thing with Halo anyway. Like, m there's one or two battles which are just so frustrating. Like, the floods are usually the worst part of any Halo. Mm -hmm. um, and there's nothing that I play through in Halo 5, like, I've played all the campaign now, with. I, where I got frustrated, I was gen I genuinely enjoyed every every mission, okay. every area that I played through, and that was in part down to the fact that you you can zoom in with these weapons, like even the the kind of uh, the stock assault rifle which you which you use uh, in previous Halo games, that's got a zoom functionality on it as well, and it makes targeting like the enemies like like the jackals that hold the shields yeah. a bit a bit easier, so you can aim down the side where there's a bit of a gap, and you know you don't have to kind of shoot the shield down first and you know have it be that you know more frustrating experience a bit annoying especially on the higher difficulties um so it makes that easier um well easier and i guess the main thing is less frustrating in general well uh, i mean that that definitely sounds like the right way to to go about it i think i've um i've had a, a number of games where it, it almost seems like they're putting in a section that's designed to be frustrating for for being you mm -hmm. know challenging sake if you like but in my you know in my eyes there's a there's a big difference between challenging and frustrating and, and you know poorly designed or poorly implemented or something mm. like that and i'm not you know i'm not going to that's not me saying by any means that you know halo's been poorly designed before because it you know yeah. some you know th there are there are elements of the games there's an element of every game that's got problems but yeah. like by and large halo has been how you do a first person shooter on the consoles yeah um the uh, moving slightly on towards kind of mm -hmm. a um, like a technical side of things, uh, the footage, sure. the footage that I've seen definitely looks really impressive. Mm. Um, it it looks nice and crisp. It looks like it's running at a smooth sixty frames. But yeah. the, the, there have been some strange sort of things that I've you know I think we've we've spoken about already where we you know you pick up on oh yeah little yeah, yeah, things yeah. in the background like where sometimes the enemy will the enemy AI will will sort of um, the, the characters will run at 30 frames or they'll, they'll drop down a, you know slight resolution yeah. and things like that it sounds like they've uh, the 343 have really focused on having um, the smooth 60 frames gameplay uh, mm. in Halo which I think don't hold me to this but I, I think it seems like that's almost new yeah I mean um, it, the Halo games have usually been a pretty smooth experience but yeah, you know, I think their 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 target, uh, even when they talked about Halo Five early on, was like 1080p, 60 frames. It's gonna be that. It's kind of it is 60 frames. Yeah. 60, six, it's a solid 60 frames, pretty much 99% through the game. But the way they do that, as far as I've kind of seen and uh, and and read about as well at the same time, is that they they change the resolution on the fly, so mm. it's not always 1080p. So, yeah, that, that's that's kind of what I was getting at there, where you've got like. Thing, I think I was reading where they, you know, they'll scale things down in the distance, so yeah. things way off in the distance will be dropped down to, you know, like 720p sort of resolution, or the, you know, the textures will change or things like that, where yeah. it'll allow the game to continue running at 60 frames. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's right. Whereas you ne you wouldn't necessarily notice that the resolution's dropped in the distance because you're focusing on the things that are close yeah. to you, and that's. That is really clever, and that is really clever. You know, yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah, like fair play. That is, that is a great way of achieving. And a, the game, a smooth the, frame rate. the game looks great, so you won't notice the stuff in, in the background. Going, like it's not noticeable at all because you're so focused on what's going on in, in I guess the foreground. Yes, um, that you're not really looking at the detail. Uh, so it's solid sixty frames, and the resolution is. It's not 1080p all the time. I think it's probably most of the time, maybe. Uh, I'm not a huge techie, so I don't have any analyzing tools or anything like that. But it seems like it most of the time, you know, is is fairly sharp. Um, and the, the the levels themselves look look really nice mm -hmm. as well. Um, I kind of mentioned that in the review that there's more open areas uh, in the missions now than I've kind of ever seen in a in a Halo game previously. Oh, okay, that sounds nice. It's, it's uh, not kind of a funneled down. No, like there are shooter. a few. There are a few missions where you're indoors, but even then, it's open in the sense that there's a there's a there's a level of verticality okay. uh, to each area, and and that's that applies to the open areas as well. Like there's different different paths and stuff you can take. There's always one one one, one area you've got to go to eventually, but there's different yeah. 
routes you can take around the open area to get there. You can either go on the ground around different areas, or you can go above and kind of, uh, I guess, almost conduct like the way the battle's happening, like using your teammates, mm. and then and then jump down and then kind of you know just just kick ass essentially. Cool. Um, it's it's the 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 level design and just the way it looks is really really impressive. There's there's a part towards the end. There's a few parts put to, towards the end of the game where there's so much happening, and yet it still maintains a solid 60 frames per second, and it looks amazing while it's happening. Mm. Um, there's some of the parts of the game that are really really impressive in terms of uh, visual uh, and technical side, and even the audio is great as well. Like they've got the usual Halo theme in there. You know. Mm. They've use that um and they've got some nice orchestral stuff like to to complement the the tense and epic battles that are going on um, i mean it, it yeah. sounds like that that's that's kind of the halo package you know you always expect that you expect to have the the pumping music when you start to get to that point and then you know you've got the the sounds of the guns and everything oh, just yeah. sounds amazing and yeah, yeah, yeah. it looks it. it i mean it really does look like a, an absolutely stunning game it, it is it is and just going back to the gameplay for a second there like we didn't i don't think i touched upon the uh one of the big things about halo is the enemy ai mm -hmm. um and that's that's brilliant as always um there's a there's a multitude of uh different enemies there's the covenant you've got um uh, you've got the prometheans as well back from back from halo 4 um as well so you, there's there's almost there's sometimes battles going on with them too and you're kind of almost f overseeing their battles and trying to try and try, try and nip in at the right point but the enemy ai in general is really damn good like they'll if you're if they kind of figure out you're you're on your own in an area they'll come and attack you in packs uh, okay. and it, if you're attacking say an enemy and his shield goes down like say uh, a covenant elite um like you take a shield down he'll go behind cover again before he comes out and tries to take you out again Right. Uh, okay. There's, there's 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 little things like that, and they'll they'll try and tag you with like plasma and grenades as well, and like be clever at close range. Like if you come really close towards them, they'll try and tag you with that and take you out. And it's it's really really smart, especially on heroic. It's really really good. Cool. And even and even your teammates, like if you're playing single player, um, they'll like like in most games, like enemy A, like like team AI is pretty shit. Yeah. Uh, like like here, really good. Like they'll they'll actively take out enemies and kind of focus their, their their fire on the bigger threat and you can also direct them to do that you yeah i was, was going to say like some stuff that i've seen it, it allows you to to actually dictate what happens within the team and you know it allows you to 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 yeah. uh, get them to instead of you running out and re um reviving a, a downed colleague uh, a, a downed ally you can sort of say you know you go do that while i cover you rather That's than right. having to rely on the cover fire of, of ai and things like that yeah, um, it's really good. It's really good. Like they'll, like they'll come and revive you as well if you go down. Like you can press X and they'll, they'll come and revive you. Um, mm. It's really clever and and smart AI all round, to be honest. Cool. Um, and what else I want to mention? Yes, some there's some really top quality set pieces that that make you feel like, the, I, I, like as the music's going in the background, it's like yeah, this is fucking good. I, I feel <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm I'm causing some shit here. Like there's you get into some vehicles both ground and air. Um, um, yeah, you call some like there, there's one particular mission where um, you're accompanying a, a familiar character. I, I, like I won't say his name. Uh, that that's appeared in previous Halo games um, in this big epic battle that's going on, and it's, yeah, you feel like you're part of part of something. Um, it's really good, really really good. Cool. I mean, that, that's the thing that I think a lot of people know Halo for is you've got that you've got that huge feeling that you're you're being a, a part of something bigger yeah um, definitely definitely um and it that's definitely something that's uh you know that appeals to me yeah it's you know if you i like i'm tempted to say like the cliche line of saying like if you if you haven't got an xbox this you know you should probably buy one check like check this out it's really and like i haven't played the multiplayer myself yet but from what i'm hearing about multiplayer um as well like co-op uh camp like you got four player co-op and you got them the war zone which is seems like it's a different different style of multiplayer to like the normal stuff you see in halo you know big open big open stuff going on there mm. um and you got the usual multiplayer as well which is which is uh you know really good as well really good and fun if, if you get like a good good group of people together and, and play it um it should it should be a lot of fun i mean i'm gonna play for you on co-op i know uh ariel and aaron from our team are looking to getting halo 5 as well so i'll play through on co-op again mm. on legendary 
and it should be a lot of fun as well. And, and, and that's one of the things as well. Like the campaign is really, uh, it begs to be like replayed again. Uh, it's about ten hours long. Um, it, you know, I can't remember me playing through a Halo game this quickly. Be not not mainly not because it's really short. Like ten hours is pretty standard fare for uh, an FPS campaign. To be honest, it's pretty it's pretty decent length. Mm. Um, but it was just I really enjoyed what I was playing. As well. I just wanted to see what's happening next. I mean, it, it sounds battle. like it's yeah. It sounds like the pacing's pretty much spot on. Yeah, and each section, like each, each mission, is immensely replayable. Like you, you've got some uh, collectibles, you've got the skulls uh, to collect as well, mm -hmm. um, and like playing it through on co-op, you'll, you'll you'll have like some genuinely like memorable moments, like playing against the AI because the AI is so good as well. Um, I can imagine having a blast on that with co-op with friends, and then obviously moving to multiplayer as well. Um, just really, just really, really polished shooter, and like they've, I, I'm a big fan of three four three and what they're doing with Halo. Um, mm. So you know, whenever Halo Six comes out, um, I'll be definitely looking forward to that. But right now, obviously, focus Halo Five. Really, really good. Really impressed with the campaign. Um, hopefully, they don't have the similar issues that they did with the Master Chief Collection with multiplayer, um, because that would be a shame. Yeah, I think that that's that was one of the questions that I had is that if I mean, if the game, uh, if the game has similar issues to the Master Chief Collection, I think that's probably, yeah, it's it's going to be a a bad bad thing. But yeah. I mean, based on what you've played so far, does well obviously being the single player side of things, does yeah. it does it make up for what happened with the Master Chief Collection? Really? I mean, I reviewed the Master Chief Collection, and like when I was reviewing it, I was I was uh, playing on like. Uh, non-retail servers so I played it a multiplayer and single player and it was fine so I gave it a high score but then when it came out retail servers it was absolutely fucked so I was like oh shit and that's kind of like the side people don't see but yeah I mean in terms of what I've played the campaign so far it's bloody damn good it is awesome. bloody damn good I forgot to mention as well there's the, 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 they've got like the boost boost dodging uh, stuff as well which kind of adds to the level design, uh, which is more open and it's more vertical as well, so you can climb stuff, like I said. Uh, so it kind of lends itself really well to that. You can you know, use it for dodging as well, which is really cool. Um, but overall, um, I think I said in the review, I have a few issues with the story, and I think some people, like hardcore fans, might. It will definitely split them in terms of what's happening. Uh, but in terms of the focus on the gameplay, it's Halo at its core, but fresh and modern. Um, it's the probably the best Halo campaign I've played. Um, cool. It's really damn good. It just flows really nicely, and there's no there's no like choke points in terms of getting frustrated. So, um, yeah, high praise, high praise from me. Good stuff. Right. Well, I think um, we'll probably wrap it up there. Um, yep. By all accounts, it seems like it's it's on course to be reviewed high, very very highly, and it seems like it's going to be, um, you know. The game that I think Microsoft have been have been after for a while with the Xbox mm. One. Um, Hope it does well for them. Redo. Redo. Yeah, I mean, I think you know, it, it seems like it's going to be. I mean, the thing that I'm I'm a little bit not worried about, but I think the the thing that I've got to ask myself is: Has everybody that wanted to play Halo Five already bought an Xbox One, or do you think this is probably going to get a shitload of people more buying the Xbox One? <sighs> that, that that that's the that's the million dollar question, right? Uh, yeah, I, th I think the thing is, like, you know, yeah. you, you'll have a lot of people that will go, "Oh yeah, maybe if hmm, yeah, what do you think? Um, should we get should we get an Xbox One?" And the, the people that will have bought Xbox Ones to play Halo. It, it makes me wonder whether they would have already bought the Xbox One because they know Halo's coming out on it, or whether they're waiting mm. to pick it up. It's yeah. Again, we'll we'll see what happens down the line but, with it. But yeah. uh, overall, um, single player side of things, extremely solid game so far. Yeah, really happy. Cool. Really happy. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for when the multiplayer goes live because we'll update the uh, yeah we will. we'll update the review with a score. Yep. And we'll uh, yeah, we'll all be good. All right, yep. Thank you very much. See you. Bye.